Hey everyone, welcome to day six of The Reading Rush. So I finally finished Artemis by Andy Weir. I listened to the last 30 minutes of the audiobook this morning and finished it, and I rated this book two out of five stars on Goodreads. I'm thinking I could bump it up to three, but honestly, like, it's not a book that I really care to like read again so if it's something that I don't find enjoyable enough to read a second time or something that like really blew me away the first time then it doesn't really get a high rating I just really didn't like the character in this book she just felt really really immature and just had kind of a self-important attitude and that bothered me like it's okay to have a character who grows and then over time you know they become a better person even if they start off as not being a very good person but like this character just wasn't likable to me. We're told a lot of things about her rather than actually seeing these things about her. Like instead of it actually being on the page that she is a certain type of way, we just hear people constantly mentioning it to her. Oh yeah, like when you did this or oh yeah, just like how you are this. And so they don't really show you what this character's like. You're just being told the character is like this and then you see her acting a certain way. I don't know, I just didn't really like it very much and then again, like I said, the backdrop of the moon really didn't make it any different. This story could have happened anywhere. So I didn't really like it that much. It wasn't an awful book, but it's definitely not something that I really care to reread anytime soon. So I just watched today's Reading Rush video challenge. And so today the challenge is you have to bring like bookish art to life. I'm probably just gonna do something really easy and draw like the cover of a book. I have this little notepad here that I got and it's from the company Edward Jones because they came to my college one time to give us a little like seminar about like financial advice. The free stuff you get in college, right? So I'm going to attempt to draw the cover of Artemis with the moon. I think it's a really cool picture, honestly. So let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so I did my best with this and I don't know, it's, it's okay. I'm not a good artist, so I can't really draw for anything. But, and then here is my artist rendition of the drawing. So I did the best I could with it. So I have to say, it's been a really stressful readathon. I honestly feel like I need a break to just chill out for a little bit because I've been really stressed on getting all of these reading vlogs up. I've been editing the day four reading vlog. It's just like really hard to get these up in a very timely manner, so I'm usually editing the previous day's vlog like all day the next day so then like this vlog won't go up until like the next day it just takes up a lot of time and then I have to also read so I feel like that's been my biggest thing this year has been pressed for time because I've been trying to like upload these every day and read these books and I feel like I'm killing my channel while I'm doing this honestly because every time I upload like clockwork I lose subscribers and I don't think that it's people unsubscribing I think YouTube is literally unsubscribing people or like cleaning out ghost followers or something but it's a little discouraging to see that number drop every single time you upload even though I know that like it's not supposed to be about the numbers obviously you want an audience and seeing that number like go down every single time you upload a video almost makes me feel like I'm the one doing it. Like, it's because of me that the number's going down. I don't know, it gets to me a little bit. Maybe that's stupid, but it just, it's like weird, but I'm like, ugh. All this stress and mental health for this reading rush. And I love readathons. They're a lot of fun, usually. It's just stressful. It's just like in the moment, you know, it's really stressful. But I'm sure when I look back on this, it'll be a lot of fun. So, of course, it is fun and enjoyable. It's just like the heat of the moment stress is still kind of like, whew, almost done. It's like running a marathon, almost. Yeah, I'm stressed about it, but like, I'm still having fun. I know that if I finish this, I'll be very proud of myself for accomplishing this. And I did it last year, so I know I can do it again this year. So right now, I am sitting in my bed just waiting on one of the reading rush Twitter sprints to start. I'm going to try and do that to earn the badge. I'm going to be reading Batman Year One and trying to make some progress with this because this book for some reason has taken me forever to read. Even though it's a graphic novel, it's comics, I can read this fast if I just sit down and actually do it. So this reading sprint is a perfect opportunity for me to actually like take some time to sit down and read it. Hey guys, so the reading sprint is over and I have made really good progress with Batman Year One. I'm on the very last chapter now, so I'm going to finish this tomorrow because I am so close to being done. It is late at night again and I haven't filmed very much today, so I'm sorry if this vlog is a little short, but thank you all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with the Day 6 vlog. Bye!